Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah, and I have something called trichotillomania, which is basically a disorder that causes me to pull out my own hair. As such, I have had a lot of hair loss over the past six to seven years, um, from various places, from my eyelashes, eyebrows, and obviously my scalp. So I wanted to do a little video on how to be confident throughout hair loss, and just confident in general when it comes to your looks. I have five main tips, and the first one is to remember why your looks don't define you. Um, this one's pretty hard. I get this one a lot that I just don't want to do it, but it's a really good one to remember that if people come for your looks and only for your looks, they're going to leave once those looks aren't the way they want them to be. And that's not the kind of relationships that you want. Um, and those aren't the kind of relationships that you want with other people. You want genuine relationships that go deeper than just your looks. True friends really won't judge you for your looks. They will encourage you to do what you can to improve yourself in every way, but they're not going to judge you negatively. Um, at least true friends won't, and obviously we want true friends. So that's the first tip. Second tip is when you're in public, just remember that you are a good person. Innately, you are good. And... Um, that you are loved and you are amazing and not to say we shouldn't try to approve ourselves but to remember that we are good and that we don't need our looks to add on to us because we're already enough without them so yeah so that's kind of that tip um and kind of the other thing i wanted to say about that is like anyone that judges you their judgment is their problem not yours you you shouldn't take on their problem like, when they're judging you, that's on them, not on you. That doesn't say anything about you. Think about if someone judged you and said, wow, that person's really rude, and you hadn't done anything rude. Like, ju judgment doesn't have any reflection on what the actual truth is. So, why should we care what other people think as long as we're doing what we believe is the right thing and what is the right thing, obviously? So, that's the second point. And the third point is a really big one that's helped me a lot is when you're feeling not confident in your looks, really focus on internally improving yourself. Make those small steps every day to improve yourself and do better and love the people around you to the best of your abilities. Because I think one of the th reasons that we're so insecure about our outside looks is because we think that they reveal something about our inside. Don't let your looks reveal something untrue about your inside if that makes sense. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense, but something that helps me is basically just to think about I'm beautiful on the inside and I'm trying to make myself as beautiful as possible on the inside and constantly working on myself. So people will be attracted to that and not just attracted because of my looks um, or turned away because of my looks. I want them to be attracted to my personality because that's the thing that I have more control over and um, a choice in. So one of the main ways that I really think is a route to self-improvement is just loving others. And by love, I mean willing the good of the other, not a feeling that you get inside. Like, doing it when you don't feel like it. Love isn't just a feeling, you know? It's doing what's best for the other person. And I think that's one of the best ways for self-improvement is to go outside of yourself. And that's one of the most attractive things that you can do is go outside of yourself, do things for others, empty yourself as much as you can um while saving enough for yourself that obviously you take care of yourself as well but i think one of the best ways to self-improvement and to more confidence is knowing that you're doing the right thing and the right thing to do is loving so i think that's one of the best ways all right so number four is stop judging others so much and you might not think you do this but we do this all the time i think we're like oh yeah that person doesn't look the way that i would look if I were them like I wouldn't wear that outfit whatever it is and you actually judge them and then you think everyone judges you the way you judge them and that's not the case and one of the things you can do to improve that is not judge them again work on yourself and you will find that the right people come to you that don't judge you for your looks and you'll find that you're not staying for your looks you know because that's another big thing is like if you only love yourself because of how you look, then when you don't look good, you're not going to love yourself. And that's just not an option. That's not good. So, um, yeah, just remember to be nice to people and not judge them. You can have opinions and be like, well, I wouldn't personally wear that, but don't treat them differently because they look a little different.
that's it. Number five is just to be yourself. Let your personality shine through. Let the goodness in you shine through to others because that'll be the most attractive thing that you can do. Again, loving others is very attractive, but also being yourself and being that authentic version of yourself is so attractive. Um, and it'll attract the kind of people that you're looking for to have those deep, genuine relationships with. Um, so have make it... Form yourself so that you attract who will actually accept you for who you are and not for what you look like. Um, and think about it like this, the way you act is how you attract. So while I guess we can get caught up in like, wow, that person's so sassy. And that uh, sassiness isn't a bad thing. It's just like, I think that love is so much more attractive when you're loving everyone around you and doing what's best for them and caring for them. Um, I think that's the most attractive. So I think if you can take anything out of this video, just take that you are good, you are loved, and you can love other people. Even if it's just the smallest thing in your day and that's all you have energy for, cleaning up after yourself, something like that. Do what you can to love and also to love yourself because when you love yourself and do what's best for you, you're not gonna care what other people think half as much. You're always gonna have your moments, but it's not gonna be half as bad, I promise you. So those are the five tips that I have for you. I hope they're helpful, or at least one of them's helpful for you. Um, that's just how I'm a little more confident, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I know how hard hair loss can be, but I think just sitting there and wallowing in it is not going to do us any good. So let's try and get out of it together. I know I'm not perfect. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I wanted to do today. I hope you have a great day. Bye.